I was driving home and I heard this terrible clicking, click, 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 and I knew exactly what it was. Look at that. There's a screw in my tire. That sucks. Let's fix it. Time to get my roadside repair kit. Lucky for me, I was close to home, but in emergencies, I've got this in my car. This is a slime roadside repair kit. Got a first aid kit in here and a sealant and inflator deal. Uh, today, we're gonna only use the inflator, but we've got the sealant if we needed to. But I've got another trick up my sleeve. This here is the stop and go pocket tire plugger. What it's gonna do is put a plug in the tire. Inside the kit, you'll see we've got a reamer. This is gonna be for cleaning out the hole. We've got a probe. And to go on the probe, we've got a tip applicator. We've got a handle. There's gonna be a bag with an assortment of these little plugs. They're like little mushrooms, and those are gonna actually go inside your tire. And there's a big Allen wrench that's gonna get it all there. Let's walk through how it works. We're gonna get one of these little mushroom plugs, and we're gonna stick it inside the handle. The back is the Allen key end, and the front is the applicator end. We're gonna make sure that it's clean. We're going to stick it in just a little teeny bit. We're going to use this tip here to press this. We want the little edges, the mushroom tip to just slide right inside. Just a little bit. You can see it's just there. We're touching the threads. Excellent. At this point, on the tire, we have already reamed it out, and we would put this applicator tip right here on the probe. We would jam it into the tire, and then this would be sticking out of the tire. We will unscrew this and attach this handle with the mushroom tip into this applicator. Now, I'm showing you what it looks like off the tire first so you understand the concept. We're going to twist and twist and twist. Because what this is gonna do is actually compress the little mushroom tip and you're gonna see as we're twisting, it's going to force the plug through the tip and you see it starting to come through. Imagine this is inside the tire now. We twist and twist until it stops twisting. When it stops twisting, we've bottomed it out and we'll know that it's the end. And at that point, remember this is inside the tire. We can back this out unscrew the handle and then essentially pull this out and you can see it's in there quite snugly so this little mushroom will be inside the tire what it does is when you pull it it flattens this little edge, this little hat against the hole in your tire. Let's do it for real now. Let's see how bad it is. The other thing you should have is a screwdriver. Keep this in your car's emergency kit. How big is this thing? Wow. So it's like just barely in there. It's okay. We're gonna fix this thing. So now we're gonna take our drill tool here and we're gonna clean out the hole. Air will come out. We 
want to make sure that we're getting all the way in and that we have a clean path for the plug to go in. Let's get the applicator ready. We want to make sure that that post on the inside is backed out since we just put that last test plug in. We want to back it out so there's plenty of room in there. We're going to put a clean plug in. Again, just inside. You can see it's just right inside there. Not too far. And we're gonna get our probe and our applicator tip here. I screw them together. We're gonna get it inside the hole. And a lot of air is going to come out. Just insert the plug by cranking it in. I can feel it just went out and it's hard stop. Oh, a little more. There we go. I'm gonna pull out. We're gonna yank this out and you can twist it. And it should come right out. And there's our mushroom tip. some pliers make sure it's seated we've got a little knife that came in the uh, slime kit so we're going to pull back and cut it there you go it's seated inside there so we've got this compressor here that came with the slime kit now, like I said, we're not using the sealant itself since we used a plug. So we're going directly from the compressor. Move your cap. I'm gonna take and plug this into the 12 volt port of the car and turn it on. 
Just inside the door, you can see the tire pressure suggestions. So for the rear on this one, they suggest 45 PSI. For this particular tire, Michelin says the max would be 51 PSI. All right, let's take a look at that repair. The plug is just below the top of the tread. So as it wears, it's not gonna affect the plug. This should be considered a temporary fix though. It'll get you home and give you enough time to make it to a service station or tire center to have it properly repaired. Those of you wondering why I didn't use the slime, the uh, Tesla tires come with a foam insert and all the slime would get gummed up in the foam not really causing an excellent seal so these plugs are a great idea if you found this video helpful please say so in the description below i'm going to have links to the products that i used so you can get a stop and go plug kit or a mobile compressor so check them out Thanks for watching, and if you want to not be stranded on the side of the road, do a little preparation. Something like this could really help save you. Take care. Have a great day.